All right, I'm back with another Destiny 2 video, and uh, today I wanted to talk about kind of where we currently are in the season. I usually do some kind of video like this around the quote unquote dead time of a season. Uh, whoops. <laughs> um, and it, the issues don't necessarily really change, but there has been kind of a sliding bit of strangeness in terms of how the latter half of seasons go uh, most of the time. And this kind of has to do a little bit with what I was saying before about not previewing much stuff um, ahead of time for the new seasons. So I, I think things are kind of getting amplified to a certain degree. And I wanted to talk a little bit kind of about that and about potential solutions, things like that. Um, at this point, we kind of know how Destiny seasons are structured. You have the big debut where they show off the new seasonal event and story stuff. These days, that also usually comes with the dungeon and now we'll have a raid. Uh, even if it's sold separately, it's still coming around at the same time. And then we have the seasonal story kind of broken up into anywhere from six to eight weeks of come back and do this thing. It's usually grind the seasonal activity uh, and then run the whatever missions. In this case, it's several missions before it was, I can't even, I can't remember the name of everything we've done. Expunge missions, that's the one that comes to mind, but whatever thing like that. Uh, and you do that for eight weeks, and there's new lore stuff and new story stuff, and that cycle alone can get a little repetitive, but I've talked about that before, and that's not really what I'm talking about here. The problem is that that kind of ends, and what Destiny has kind of grown comfortable with, uh, with its seasonal model, is having the last month, but it's more like the last five or six weeks, really, being just nothing. And I'm not saying there needs to be some sort of, like, crazy, you know, we have a 16-week you know, or 12-week stories mapped out like every single time, uh, so there's no downtime for forever. Like, I don't think that's good. I don't think seasons should be structured or jam-packed with stuff all the time. I think the issue is, is that what little stuff there used to be, there kind of is no longer, and we've also seen a lot of stuff that people did like has kind of gone away completely. Um, Right now, the end of the season is pretty much dedicated to whatever event they throw. Um, those events are usually three to four weeks. We have one for each season now. We have uh, Solstice, The Dawning, Guardian Games, and Festival of the Lost. And that is essentially, you know, you have like, three weeks or a month to grind it, but it's just run whatever the core activity of that is. Uh, turn it in for packages or presents or whatever, and then you to, to farm stuff, you will probably have to be running a lot of other activities in the game as well. That is very true, especially for Solstice, but for really all of these. And that's kind of it. Uh, and then over time, all of the stuff that used to be kind of gap-filling has disappeared. So way, way back, um, you know, a long, long time ago, we would have kind of... Some, we would sometimes have very significant things like... Uh, a big in-game mystery that crops up or a secret mission that happens on occasion later into a season. Um, we have not had any big community-wide mysteries in a very long time. I'm hard-pressed to even remember. The last real one, I think, was uh, The Corridors of Time from Season of Dawn, and I don't think we've had anything remotely comparable to that since then. Um, and what's happened with secret missions is, like, those are still getting made. They're just not really... The same anymore like those when those do exist those are pitched as just kind of a core part of the season and back when there were roadmaps there were those were started to get put on the roadmaps like vox obscura just sort of launched alongside season of the risen and it was a fun mission i guess but uh just sort of existed and as just like here's this fun kind of bonus mission for an exotic uh, but it's it wasn't it doesn't like show up you know surprisingly at the, in the final stages of the season here. Uh, nothing like that really exists anymore. Um, we also do not have live events anymore, at least not in the traditional sense. Uh, before you could be maybe okay. Well, at least at the end of the season, there's going to be some build up to some uh, live event that's that's happening. Previously, we we had something where it would it would be a little Fortnite ish. We'd like watch something change over time. Uh, you know, the good old almighty getting closer to the tower thing. You could check in each week to check. Nothing like that has happened in a very, very long time. We had the one, what Bungie considered a live event was the Exorcism of Sabathun, uh, where that only cropped up in the very last week of the season, and it was a unique mission with a new skybox and new enemy stuff, and, like, it was its own, you know, it was very much a 
limited time. You must be there to witness this kind of thing in this last week thing. But it also just sort of felt like it, they took the last mission of the season and then delayed it for two months. And then it was like here. So I, I don't quite view that as the same thing, uh, even though that was similar timing wise. Um, in terms of the gameplay stuff, uh, they also reduce Iron Banner. So there's not like, there's usually like one final Iron Banner week in this time period. And that no longer exists because we only have two Iron Banner weeks now. And we finished up the second one, what, like a week ago? Um, so that is not a thing anymore either. So the, the gap used to be filled with, okay, well, if nothing's going on in the game, then we will at least start to get hyped about the next season. And that usually has been through a series of, of TWABs and pre-season announcement things. But as we've just discussed for at least two seasons now, there has been really none of that. Um, last season, like, so it's not like we get absolutely nothing. So for instance, last season, they didn't, they wouldn't tell us anything about the content of Season of the Haunted, the theme of Season of the Haunted, the characters, what they didn't tell us anything about it. And yet we still went over a number of things like here's all the Iron Banner changes coming and Iron Banner focusing and like here are the new ritual weapons and it, you know, they, they would at least show some things. Uh, we'll, we'll see. We still have, you know, three weeks or whatever until the showcase. So we don't know what they will end up showing us. But so far they, they kicked us off with um, the raid time but not saying what the raid was and then a very, very long explanation about SBMM, which uh, support or not support SBMM, it's not exactly like the most exciting thing to be revealed uh, ahead of a new season. So uh, we'll see, but we're not we're not expecting any seasonal information. We're not expecting, um, I, I'm not expecting ARC 3.0 reveal at this point either. Uh, and then one thing that Bungie used to kind of do, but like never really too much is is one thing i would kind of want to see is a return to the concept of like in-game teasing the next season like it is is very hard to even remember when bungie did this in any meaningful capacity i think the most memorable version of this was the good old wolves are roaming from destiny one where you would like i don't even remember all the details but like they would drop a, a captain from house of wolves and a, and you would kill it and then you'd have a chest or something, and I think you could get at least a couple pieces of, of gear from the new season, and it, it was just like a little sneak peek. So, like, I'm not even saying it needs to be that elaborate. I just wish there was something in-game that we could kind of, you know, at least check at Weekly Reset to see, you know, hints toward the next season. Um, you know, so-and-so wants to talk to you in the tower, and they have this thing to say. Bungie releases, like, a new lore thing. Um, or, you know, they just a, a micro mission that's so small that at least gives you a tease of what's coming. Um, you know, for instance, in let's just pre under the, the guess that may not be true that like, let's say next season is a Siva season and Rasputin's coming back. Like we got, you know, something in Witch Queen where after you beat the Glaive quest, there was this like big kind of reveal from Rasputin about Nefele station, uh, Nefele stronghold and, and things like that. And, if, if, say, that was the next season, season 18, it would be nice to be having, like, to have something pop up in the game now that's, like, some sort of mystery. Like, oh, we've, you know, weird beacon from whatever, whatever out in the system. Like, let's investigate, and there's some little lore thing there. And the next week, it's some new development with that. And, like, again, I'm not even saying these aren't, like, missions. Just something hinting, teasing, whatever, what is coming. So it's, it's just something that happens in game you get excited because like there's enough stuff to do I, I i think there was enough stuff to do in game itself at this point where you have you know you have the rest of the seasonal activity to farm you have uh, the event to do but i also think that now more than ever you can kind of make the case that it's okay if they did want to do a surprise mission or a surprise whatever something in the last part of the season here because at least we're in a stage now where um, things are no longer disappearing right when that season ends. Um, that is not true of the final season in the Savathun Exorcism, um, but generally speaking, like it isn't like Presage or something would have, you know, if it debuted in the last week, would have gone away the next week. Like they can now be carried over throughout the entire year. Budget can sometimes pick to save things that they want, which they have done with both content vaulting, um, seasonal and expansion content before. So it's it's not a guarantee. So I, I don't think it's maybe much of a risk as to stack some stuff later in the season uh, as opposed to the beginning. And then I also th just 
would enjoy some sort of in-game hints, in-game teases about what is to come to kind of continue, you know, a, a flowing narrative. And, and instead, what we get is usually like the story ends. And if anything does happen, you know, uh, to to lead it in the next season, it's like literally the week or the day before and that's it. And it's just something that has been, you know, on lockdown for and this season. It's not it's it's so far, at least there does not seem to be anything like Sabathune's exorcism that is being saved. It's just kind of like, well, we sort of failed this mission and now we don't really know what Kallus is going to do with the pyramid. So, whoops. Uh, and we, we're not really expecting something. This would be a perfect time or a surprise because we're not really expecting anything. I just think that the last four, five, six weeks of the season have gotten almost e even more bare than they used to uh, based on a combination of them no longer doing any sort of live events, any sort of big secrets, any sort of community secret events. Uh, and then now this new thing of not really even talking about the next season out of game uh, that much. So there's there's just this very large void that I think something needs to fill and nothing is really doing that right now. Could be wrong. I, there, there could be something huge planned or whatever, but you know me. I used to predict something cool was going to happen every single week and I was always wrong for like a year and a half straight. So I just gave up and I don't I'm not going to do that anymore because I, that does not seem to be what they're interested in. But because Destiny is a live game, that is something I hope they would lean into a little more. And this combines with my past point of I don't think all this secrecy is good or necessary going forward here. Um, once Lightfall is revealed, maybe we'll stop doing this and won't have it as much, but I guess we'll see. So those are just kind of my thoughts now that we're in the kind of doldrums here. I'm starting to bounty stack. Ugh, gross. Because uh, I don't have anything else to do in the game, so uh, that's what I'm working on. Got to got to get all those get got to get whatever our overpowered arc 3.0 mod is in the artifact as soon as I can. So um, that's that's my goal for bounty stacking, and and I got to get the uh, cool ornaments that will be the um, at the tail end of the season pass there. But anyway, those are my thoughts. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments, and I will talk to you soon.